Hello and welcome. And I guess first things first, I would like to congratulate the Epic Games team with the release of Unreal Engine 5. And I would like to con congratulate us as creators uh, with actually finally getting our hands on on the final version of Unreal Engine 5. Now, there are a lot of, lot of things and a lot of interesting videos that have been released over the, you know, last couple of, last number of hours, dozens of hours. And um, I did not see a lot of talk about the new uh, thing that was previously a plugin in the in Nigra that was like the uh, real-time fluid simulation. Now, what is it all about? Now, previously, uh, how you would make the VFX for like burning, smoke, and you know, all, all that kind of like uh, fluid simulations is that you would simulate it somewhere else. For example, in my case, I'm usually doing it in Houdini. Uh, by the way, this is the video I was doing the tests for the flipbooks. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So here's how you would do it. You would simulate the fire. Then you would, you would render the fire into the uh, so-called sprite sheets or flipbooks. And uh, which is basically uh, the effect that is rendered over time. And then you bake it into the textures. And then you play those textures. As you can see, those are uh, little eight by eight grids. And you play those textures in a succession. So that eventually results in some sort of a simulation. As you can see, this is a very, very bad looking uh, simulation of a fire I was uh, testing because I am lazy. Anyway, uh, there is a better way. There is like an icy, icy smoke that's coming out of this uh, sort of like a fountain or whatever. So as you can see, uh, this is simulation. Again, this is a pre-baked one. I was doing it inside of Houdini. Then I rendered the uh, icy smoke. Then I baked it. As you can see, there is a faint yellow, uh, faint yellow plane. And as you can see, this is just a, it's a trick. It's a fake. It's a. Uh, it's a 2D uh, sprite sheet that is being played uh, using the uh, Nagra sub UV player bridge. Uh, so this is the classic way of doing that. Now, what is interesting about the new one is that it is actually real time simulating all the thing, and it's not a fake. <laughs> it's a real thing. Uh, pardon. Okay, so there you go. I was um, going around this, and as you can see, this is somewhat, some kind of like a real fire that you can look at, you can go around, and it's actually 3D, and it's working well, except for this uh, weird vector, but I guess it's just, um, we can just tweak it a little bit. Um, so I skipped a couple of presets because they're not looking all that good or impressive or whatever, but, you know, as you can see, this explosion is not bad, it's just uh, leads a little bit weird and there is a lot of bits of blobbiness all over the place it needs a little bit more turbulence and uh, all this kind of stuff uh, but this one uh, is looking pretty pretty good so again um, the next the smoke as you can see this 3d simulation um, is colliding against the geometry that is overhead this uh, emitter this fluid that generates this smoke and the smoke collides with the geometry and it's looking really, really good. I mean, obviously it could use a little bit more resolution, but the whole point is, is that it actually respects the geometry around it. So that is very impressive. Uh, now, one of the even more impressive ones, again, which is not looking super, like it, it's not the prettiest one. It will not like uh, break the Hollywood or whatever, but what it is actually all about is that imagine, imagine for example a car uh, with an engine on fire or a plane with an engine on fire or a meteorite that is going through the atmosphere and previously you had to kind of emit these sprite sheets uh, behind the trail so it kind of like creates this smoky trail and it looks really really fake it looks um, very game engine if you know what I mean. So basically, if you played like Battlefield or the Call of Duty, whatever, any game that has, I don't know, a plane that is about to crash, right? I think even Tomb Raider has one. Um, the, the usual way how it was doing it is that they had this repeating texture of smoke that's just what's kind of emitting and going from, let's say, bottom left to top right, 
and you just could see that it's the same texture repeated over and over and over again but now as you can see we can actually simulate the smoke and um, as you can see it also respects the velocity of the emitter that is being emitted from and of course it is actual 3d you can walk around you can see that it's, it's an actual volume this is amazing obviously there are more amazing presets but these kind of caught my eye uh, this is an interesting waterfall effect again usually the previously you would do this using the vats um, you would export uh, you would pre seam this effect then you export the vats into the geometry uh, i mean into the unreal engine all of this is not like it's not super hard but it's kind of annoying and now you can have it um, running real time inside of unreal engine which is amazing yeah, I've said the word amazing a number of times at this point. And uh, finally, this is the kind of like a little bit of a small river that is running, running down, uh, respecting the geometry underneath it. And as you can see, this is working well. Again, full volumetric fluid simulation. You can walk around. It's not a fake. It's not some, uh, some sort of um, texture that just, you know, moves about. Uh, normal so whatever it's actual 3d simulation so there is that um, what i'm thinking is obviously this is like the first iteration of this effect and it's not particularly like mind-blowing as it is but you hopefully you can already see how it can improve a lot of workflows and as time will go by it will get better and better and better uh, more efficient the gpus will become more and more uh, kind of like faster they will compute faster the, those three degrees of voxels they will have more uh, RAM to deal with and the RAM will be faster so what I'm saying is uh, probably we will not see these effects in these uh, like PlayStation 5 or Xbox One X or S no wait Xbox Series X and S <laughs> my bad uh, convoluted naming scheme uh, but uh, the PlayStation 6 and the Xbox Next whatever it's called uh, certainly can have this stuff going live and you know let's just let's just say I'm pretty sure it will revolutionize the uh, real-time and interactive VFX as we know it and I'm excited uh, now obviously as someone who is spending a lot of time inside of Houdini doing this I'm looking at this thinking yeah <laughs> okay uh, revolutionizing and all but uh, it's kind of it kind of hurts that I spent so much time in Houdini doing that, and now I have to basically uh, readjust in the new systems. But I'm excited, and hopefully you're excited as well. By the way, if you're interested in all this stuff, um, I will be recording videos about actually you know uh, Houdini and Unreal Engine and a little bit Blender, maybe uh, any other application that is uh, one way or another connected to creating. Uh, assets and content and uh, whatever it is for Unreal Engine uh, going forward and yeah if you if you want to learn more about this uh, hit subscribe button if you have some you know questions and ideas don't forget to leave a comment hit the like button and do the, all the cool stuff that YouTube people do because you know this is YouTube and all of that uh, thanks for watching hopefully you're having a great week again congratulations on getting your hands on Unreal Engine 5 uh, great great thank you for team at epic games and side effects for creating uh, the you know all the presets all the content uh, presentations uh, the city the matrix all this kind of cool stuff this is amazing mind-blowing a lot of things to go through and yeah uh, see you in the next video bye bye